Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you loot from 10 hours of Ankus. I guess they could be pronounced Ankus as well, but I just say Ankus. Uh, the goal for this one is to obtain as much loot and totem pieces as possible. And this was filmed during the Demonic Gorilla video, so I needed something a little AFK to do on the Iron Man and I was looking at the Anku drop table and I've only covered them once before many years ago, but the ones that I killed years ago was not in the catacombs of Karend, but this one was going to be. So the good thing about this is any totem pieces that I do get, I will be making as many dark totems from as possible, and we can do some scotizo at the end of this video, as well as do any hard clues that I do encounter while killing these things. So a cool thing about this room in the catacombs is that these ankus do stay aggro, and I should have timed how long they stay aggro for, but if I had to guess, it's anywhere from like 7 to 10 minutes. And so anytime you run next to them, they will attack you and of course when they spawn back they will attack you as well so basically all I had to do was click around my mini map and all of them would get on me and they wouldn't really walk away or anything but that made this a very good AFK training method for my attack XP as well as getting all the loot which may not seem like a lot but if you do stay here for quite a few hours like I did then all the small drops that you will get will just be stacking up over time and speaking of time there's our trusted 10 hour timer go ahead and start that for this video a uh, very AFK very laid back experience i did pick up all the drops kind of in one go when they would stack up slowly and i did make two quick edits to my gear choice for this video i banked my berserker ring for a ring of wealth because of the coin drops it would just save me a lot of clicking compared to you know just having them go in my inventory and then i banked my fire cape for an ardon cloak and that was for extra prayer bonus since I was going to be protecting melee throughout this whole time. Most people even higher levels that I've seen here do protect melee because you have so many Ankus attacking you and they are higher level so it's just smart to not take any damage. I mean them being level 95 that is the highest level Anku that you can face in this game so yeah be prepared to pray melee here uh, unless you have an SGS or you know Torva or Bandos you know it just depends on the gear that you have really but from what I saw other than the people that had to kill these Ankus for a clue scroll step uh, most of the people were praying melee so as it goes for the drops as you can see most of them stayed in the inventory the whole time the only time that I did bank was when I had an inventory full of black robe tops and weapon poisons to my knowledge I'm the only iron man that collects uh, black robe tops and weapon poisons but I do like to pick up everything as you can see I have well over 100 robe tops now so yeah maybe we'll get to 200 during this video the death runes and the blood runes are by far the most useful for me because I will be using these blood runes for fire wave or something along the lines of that for future magic videos and i'm imagining i'll probably use those death runes in the future for my trident but i haven't figured out any videos to do with the trident yet and kind of lost popularity as newer monsters that are similar leveled or lower leveled uh, came out and had better drop tables than this one i mean this uh, monster doesn't really drop too much i did bring a herb sack but the reality of it is to receive just a renar is one in 400 almost so if you think of it like that you'd have to kill like four thousand of these just to be able to get like 10 renars so a herb sack really isn't necessary same goes for a seed box um just looking at the possibility to get the renar seed that i did it was one in 2500 and to get a torstal seed it's one in 99,000. so I, I you know i just don't get that why is it so rare i did manage to get a few gems here and there though so i would say the gem bag was worth bringing uh, alongside that totem pieces were filling in occasionally i think i ended this video with two full totems probably not a big spoiler there but yeah it was decent to see that i was kind of hoping for three but two is better than nothing and i still don't have a scotizo pet on this account so that's why i'll be grinding out scotizo and probably all of my catacomb related videos and then maybe one of these days i'll upload like a basic iron man update video show you guys the bank and uh do like 20 scotizo kills in that video i've been wanting to make a scotizo video for a while but it's just so long term because it takes so long to get totem pieces so i just don't know how i'm gonna manage that uh uh, in the far future, but I'll see what I can do. So alongside the runes, uh, you can get law runes as well. I didn't really touch much on that, but uh, you know, they will come in handy for certain things and you will get a decent amount of pure essence noted. Um, I got thousands and thousands during this video as well as some mithril ore. So it's not all a lost cause. You know, there are other drops other than the runes here, but that's really what they're known for was, you know, maybe back in 2005 and 2006, this was an okay money-making method. These Ankus were actually released into the game July 4th, 2000. 
2006. So let's just stick with uh, 2006 on that one. And you can be assigned uh, this by multiple Slayer Masters, you know, pretty much all of them actually. And it is a decent Wilderness Slayer task as well. Those ones specifically have the best drop table because they are in the Wilderness Slayer Cave. And just in general, everything in the Wilderness Slayer Cave has a better drop table. I'm definitely looking into doing some more Wilderness related videos soon, but uh, for now, I do have a great video coming out for you guys tomorrow night, and it is called Loot from 10 Hours of Hard Clue Scrolls. I am curious how many masters I'll get from it, so hopefully it doesn't take too long, but it's definitely going to go over 10 hours, so we'll see how that goes. I'm really excited for it. And thank you guys again for all the great positive feedback lately. Um, I know I had a little bit of a bad attitude in the Demonic Gorilla video because I didn't get any drops, but that's just a part of RuneScape. You know, I was reading the comments, and, and what you guys said made a lot of sense. You know, you can't get lucky every time, so especially with these Iron Man loot videos, there's really no drop we're going for. It's just kind of building the bank up slowly but surely. And it's working out pretty well. Uh, my Iron Man has so many Renars, so many, uh, so much potential really to make so many potions. So I'm going to be working on some skilling soon, which I think will tie in good to an update video. Kind of show you guys more about this account. Reflecting a little on its stats during the uh, Anku grind itself. I feel like I haven't really talked much about Ankus, but there's only so much you can say. I'm sure most of you guys are very familiar with them. Really, the only thing I have to say about Anku is that if you are going to kill them, try to target the ones in the catacombs so you get shards as well as totem pieces. And if you don't want to kill those, try to look into the Wilderness Slayer version because those drop much better things than the ones uh, underneath Barbarian Village. But yeah, I did manage to hit 20 million attack XP on my account, which was a big goal of mine. So I finally started lashing with my whip and we will now get 20 mil strength alongside that 99 defense and probably the next video. Well, a little rambling and here we already are at the end of the video. Got that time counting down and uh, ladies and gentlemen loot from 10 hours of Ankus has been completed like I already said very relaxing grind if you do it right you can make this a hundred percent AFK except for the fact that you have to run away about 20 feet for them to re aggro you and I just did this through Dagnaths and I never got bothered by anything so with all that being said a uh, decent attack XP as well got a little bit in defense and strength towards the end and uh, the bone crusher was used the whole time so it saved me some prayer points as well as uh, giving me some prayer XP. Overall price check, this is going to be all the death runes, blood runes, law runes, uh, the few gems and few herbs that I did receive, as well as a thousand adamant arrows, 70 weapon poisons, and 338 mithril ore. Overall price check coming out to be 1.4 mil with 1,442 kills uh, with this setup. So not the best, but not the worst either. Still 140k an hour and very useful runes on the Iron Man that I will be using. And I did have one clue that I couldn't complete, and I did receive another clue scroll later on in the video that I did complete. So I got one of those caskets done and then I made my two dark totems and I headed over to Scotizo and I made the mistake of um, doing these clue scrolls pretty much the same exact gear that I was doing Scotizo in and this being uh, a fire cape, full carols, slayer helm, you know, all the goodies uh, that you don't want to be bringing in the wilderness. Well, I just so happen to be a little too cocky. Arrogant is probably a better word that when I do wilderness steps, I always bring whatever in my inventory, no matter how much it is or how important it is. Well, you guys probably know where I'm going with this. So this was my second Scotizo kill. The first one was great. I was able to complete the clue. And then I went to Venonatus to complete the last step of this one. And all of a sudden, a team kind of came my way. So there was two people killing Venonatus, actually, and I think they were trying to help me. So shout out to those guys, but they did not actually do it. So they logged out, and all of a sudden, one guy became three, and uh, yeah, light ballistas, dragon crossbows, and uh, armadillo godswords. So I definitely was afraid that I was going to die here, but I'm Mr. No Sleep, ladies and gentlemen, and you know, I don't die. <laughs> at least uh, not all the time. So yeah, what a close call. 11 HP, no food left at all. And had I unfortunately Unfortunately died, I would have lost my Carol skirt as well as my fire cape, dragon defender, and barrel's glove. So it wouldn't have been the end of the world, but it would have cost me a couple of hours and I would have lost a lot of confidence. I guess that's one way of making an Anku video more exciting. But either way, three hard clue caskets. Here we go. Let's see what we get. 69k from the first one. Second one, this one comes out to be 80k. That shield I already had, so it's not going to come in handy for any future clue. And the third one being 216k. So 
just about 350k from all the clue scrolls. And the end clue loot was pretty good as well. I'll go ahead and show that on the rune light tab here. I did forget to uh, add those black robe tops in the price check, but don't worry, that was only about 15k. Well, that is it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching tonight's video. I will see you tomorrow night with loot from 10 hours of hard clues featuring master clues as well. And remember, if you ever need a PC or a laptop, use that iron side link in the description below for 5% off. We actually just sold two computers recently, so big shout out to you guys. All right, well, that's it for me tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and until then, Mr. No Sleep, out.